How's it going, everybody? My name is Percival or Scuff Gaming, and welcome back to the Binding of Ice and Repentance. Today we're going to be playing Tainted Azazel post patch. Uh, Tainted Azazel was pretty strong before the patch, so we'll see if they dialed him down really far or if it's still reasonable. Heptimesis will debuff essentially uh, enemies in this little sneeze pattern that happens just before we get our charged mini brimstone shot, so we can sort of use it to snuff out these fires. We could really do whatever we'd like with it. It used to be that you had to double tap the button, but now it's every time that we start charging the shot. Uh, this character is still rather strong, obviously. And we start with Brimstone, so... Ooh. Yeah, the soul is an amazing starting item. Sort of... Oh, okay. Sort of get out ahead of... enemies. If we want to. Now, if enemies would live through the initial salvo, then they also get a debuff, as you can see. That uh, this is an XL floor. I didn't realize that. That uh, causes them to explode. Look at the floor, actually. The floor is a different little graphic as well. It shows us the sneeze of Thomas, and it says, you know, hold the buttons. Obviously, I am on controller, which some people are not big fans of, but this is what it is. That is a sticky nickel. We will take it. <laughs> we can shoot things through walls with uh, stone and of course with... Uh... This isn't called Bob's Brain. I can't remember what it's called. Bob's Rotten Head. And I don't know where the secret room would be, but it might be. It might be south of here. It might be. It is not. And I do not know where it is. I mean, it is an XL floor, so it's going to be much more difficult to find, at least for me, personally. I like that new explosion graphic. It's really cool. It does seem as though, right, the explosion carries over to the other enemies, which is really sweet. Take the tears up. Tears up, still useful for brimstone. Obviously, we could use some damage, if at all possible. I got lots of money early. Now, what's going on here? Uh, hmm. I thought we were going to have to choose, but it turns out we could just have both of these. I know some people don't like Buddy in a Box, but I think it's okay. Super fast first floor. I'm going to go ahead and head on down after this boss. It's going to be hot. Seems like the sneeze gets buffed, the speed of it rather. If we land the sneeze. Marbles. Let's take the Locust of War, and we will just head on down. Until we get Red Heart HP, it really doesn't benefit us to. Uh, Take double damage, so we simply don't have the HP to manage it. Uh, 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 that was full card out of there. 
No, no reason to real really fight globe and have to. Well done. That does count as a hit against us. Alright. Well, that's cool. And Buddy in a box is gonna spawn this familiar, and I guess I should explain also what the soul does. It's already saved us twice. The soul, uh gives us a couple of soul hearts and also creates this deflection style aura that saves us from some incoming projectiles. The aura waxes and wanes. What are the odds that the secret room is right here? Kind of periodically waxing units. The sneeze is quite strong. Uh, I want to say it does deal wall damage, by which I mean interact with, with uh, enemies. And they sort of like knock into the back wall and it ricochets. Broken modem. Take it. It's kind of a zany item, but it's got its benefits. Basically, it's going to make things appear to be. Some enemies will be slowed, stunned. Some projectiles will disappear and things like that. So it's kind of a good crowd control item because sometimes you can save yourself from bullets that are aimed at you, or sometimes bosses will just get slowed down. And you can sort of lay into them. Focus of War doing some work. Let's go in. Kind of like that. Get a little speed up. Our angel deal is. It also appears like the, the buff is longer lasting now. Making short work of this enemy. Very short work of this enemy. Alright. Still don't really know where the secret room is. If I had to guess, I'd say here. Dingleberry, no thank you. We will head on down. Curse the maze, get all the curses today. the aura, the soul aura, that's what it does. It sort of pushes the tears away from our body. It's very good. Yeah, I believe technically it's an angel deal item, so combined in that first one is kind of absurd. Hey, thanks, Broken Motive. Some might even say broken. Maybe it is broken. Maybe it is broken. Oh wow. Yeah, we'll take it. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Alrighty. Some pretty significant changes were made to uh, fan favorite items like um, like I know we've been talking a lot recently about like well what's what would be the most like run ending item that you know for sure would be like the first pick in Magic to get. And a lot of people were saying Binge Eater. Well, now 
you can't necessarily be so sure because Binge Eater was nerfed to reduce your speed for every food item you take. So is it still the end all be all? I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, we can't be too sure anymore. Let's take BFF. I'll blow this open up. They did also change donation machines, so if we bomb this right now, uh, I could show you actually. I could show you. It just blows it up. So rest in peace to donation machine. Um, we knew you well. Taking out withdrawals the same uh, aggressive way that we have in the past is no longer possible. They have got to be a little bit more choosy when they choose to do don donation machine, because even though it seems to it seems to give more money, you cannot continually knock it and still get the same effect. Continuum, welcome back to the team. Always always a pleasure. Always a pleasure to have you on the team, my boy. Continuum Tears is going to make our tears go across the room. And we are just hauling absolute ass right now. It's sensor. Fan favorite sensor, really powerful item. give us a key, we'll keep going. Uh, we have to stop here. Alright. That was a fun little fight, wasn't it? What's this card? Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Trash. <laughs> uh, let's see. Not on your life. Not on your life. Obviously, we're this powerful because of Red Stew in combination with uh, the debuffs that we've been receiving from Hemoptosis or whatever, however you pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce it. Every time we get a kill on an enemy, we'll regain some of our damage. We also have Crown of Crown, uh, not Crown of Crown, um, Crown of Light, which is multiplying our damage output. And we've gotten a curse every floor. Every floor we've gotten a curse. You know, can you just calm down game? I understand that you're upset that we're playing a broken, really still quite a powerful character. Would it be as powerful without all the crazy, insane items we've gotten? No. But Azazel has always been sort of the brute force raw strength kind of a character. So what that is 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 we have a sensor, and the sensor is is um making it so that every shot and every enemy inside this little aura is being slowed. I can't believe it took that long to kill that guy. It is a very, very powerful item. Um, someone go as far as to say that it would used to feel like a hard carry item until you realize the slow moving projectile sometimes can feel harder to dodge. Sometimes they are harder to dodge because the waves of uh, bullets that come at you. Now yeah, we don't have to go into the shop. We don't have to go into the shop. It's okay. It's like blue cap. Obviously, we don't care how far low our shot speed is because we have brimstone. And Brimstone does not care. Oh, oh. Okay. 
They took a tick of damage away from the brimstone. <laughs> Keys would be nice. Uh, we're gonna need some keys to get into our last item room. There's one. We'll take it. And if we do find the full card, we will um, take it. Why not? We have BFF. Some extra damage never hurt anybody. That's the reason why I have giant familiars is because we bought BFF on one of our early floors. Another key, great. Moving on, moving on down. Two keys. Let's check this arcade actually. There's a reason not to. What an arcade it was. <laughs> Crown of Light, one of my favorite items. As long as we don't take damage in a room, it uh, causes us to have some massive static. Yeah, some really massive static. Forces. I want to say it like, doubles our damage, increases our tears rate, a lot of good stuff. We knew him well. Gonna go ahead and move on to the next room. Pretty soon we're gonna have the mom fight. I haven't been paying attention. I know I should be paying attention to see if we can get that. The full card, but I just not have been paying attention. It's a little bit late tonight on this patch night uh, tonight, but you know what? That's why I figured we play something that's a little bit more powerful, just to see how it's changed with the patch notes. Now, so far, so far so good. And the last run was very zany. We ended up rolling out of Tainted Lazarus and Tainted Cane. What a fantastic run. If you haven't seen it, you should. We gulped our focus. Glad to see that they still haven't changed the uh, Give some more red health. There's absolutely no reason to fight this gentleman. Wow. That's a really good boss rush. So good that I, uh, gonna have to refuse. Just gonna have to refuse. Very tempting. <clears throat> All right, so where to go? Where to go? Chariot. Yeah, we'll take that for a guard. Do you want to check check for the secret room? Yes. If I were the secret room, where would I be? Here, maybe? There she be. What a phenomenal secret room it is. <clears throat> 15 damage, crown of light, which means we're at, what is that, 7.8 essentially? 7.8 damage output. Just head on down. No reason to linger any longer. beautiful part of these like, really powerful Azazel style creatures is they're just so, so gosh darn powerful that uh, 
clear rooms very quickly, make it to boss rush, make it to hush fight, if you care for it. Now obviously I'm a really big fan of uh, all things homing, as I showed in the last video, so if they, we ever get a chance to get spoon bender or something like that, that would be great. The dead end. Something like Godhead or even Sacred Heart would be just phenomenal. And run endingly powerful. Broken Modem is slowing everything down for us. So, thank you, Broken Modem. So with sensors, it's sometimes you just accidentally end up getting hit because you thought you were going to dodge a bullet, but you end up walking into it instead. I don't know if the patch made the sensor aura bigger. It feels like BFF is making sensor bigger now. But maybe it just always was that big. You know? Maybe sensor always was such a ridiculously large item with BFF. Uh, hello? <laughs> Fortunately for us, even without, um, even without Crown of Light, our damage is so ridiculously high, and wow, what a map this is. I'm not sure if that explosion from what from Hemoptis and Hemoptis is what hurt us or what, but if that is what's hurting us, then that's really bad. And we don't like that. I'll take the flying and the speed. I value flying very highly. Um, the ability to just go wherever you want to go without limitation is, uh, is very good. We've been gulping our trinkets, by the way. Which is why, despite everything, we, we have, like, we gulped, uh, the forget-me-nots. <laughs> Such a cool, cool effect of the white. Yeah, something, something is causing us to take damage from ranges that don't seem quite right. You know, and I could, I could just be face-planting and not realizing it, but it just feels kind of like... Sneeze. It's almost like when we sneeze, it causes our hitbox to reach out. I'm not a big fan. Gonna, gonna just say it. Not a big fan. This is another dead end. We'll see once we get down to the dark room if there's going to be anything worthwhile in those uh, devil room chests, those devil deal chests. One more chance for an angel room or devil deal here. And here we go. on down. Yeah, bro. 
Broken modem seems to be doing a lot of crowd control for us. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that guy didn't want to live so bad. Just ran right into the fire, we didn't do anything to him. Lots of crowd control going on between Crown of Light and Sensor. Or not Crown of Light, but between Sensor and Broken Modem. Like, uh, that's a very satisfying effect. Right on. It could have gone better, but not bad. And here we are in the dark room. Final fight against, you know him, you love him. It's sad. We got a Yoshi baby. We got a, we got a Yoshi baby. Some more crowd control going on here, Sack Alter. <laughs> We lost Buddy in the box, but we don't mind. Alright. 4 HP, 9 lives, and a dream. Let's do this. probably one of the most short runs you've ever seen, so I hope that this uh, convinces you that Azazel, even in tainted form, is well worth playing. A very powerful character. Um, yeah. Yeah, thanks in great part to all of our excellent crowd control items. The soul, um, broken modem, the sensor, and we had the damage output to back it up thanks to Crown of Light, so... Yeah, thank you so much everybody for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Catch you later.